there. Today I'm going to show you how to easily create a works cited page using MLA 8, which is what we use in uh, English literature and language, as well as uh, other modern languages. So what you want to do first is go to sitefast.com and you're going to log in here. I'm logging in using my GAPS account. And once you've logged in, you can create uh, different works cited pages for different assignments. So I'm currently working on my master's, so I've got uh, my assignment three works cited page here. You can see them all here. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make one for Macbeth. So what you want to do is you're going to add a bibliography, and I'm going to call it Macbeth. Now, as I said, in English we use MLA. But for your other classes, perhaps you use APA or Chicago. So these are different styles that you can use for different classes. Check with your teacher to see what they prefer. Then I click Create Bibliography. And it says here I have no citations yet. That's because I haven't included anything yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website that I want to use. And I'm going to enter that in here where it says enter URL and I will do a search and it will automatically create the information for you. Now it says here that some of the information might be modified. That means it's up to you to fill in any of the blank spaces like the author for instance. So I can go back to the article and see if there is an author who has written it. I don't see an author there so I can leave the author blank it was last modified on May 10th, 2016. That's when uh, that particular web page was modified. The article is called Shakespeare Lives and it's published by the BBC. This part here is very important. Date accessed. If you just click today, it will automatically enter today's date. And then at the bottom, you save the citation and it will have your work cited ready here for you. Now, the great thing about this site is that it will also create in-text citations for you. So if you click on in-text citation, you'll see here that any quote that you use, any direct quote that you use or paraphrase that you use in your works should be in-text cited like this, which means that once you've included your quotation in your essay, in your paragraph, in your report, in brackets, you are going to write Shakespeare lives and that will indicate to the reader that there should be a work cited um, source called Shakespeare Lives. Now, the last thing that you can do once you have all of your citations listed is you can copy and paste it and all of the work cited will show up here. And I'll show you what one looks like from my last paper. Okay, so I had all of my work cited here. I had to quote from journals and websites, etc. And then when I clicked copy paste, they were all listed here. All I had to do was copy and paste it and plug it into a brand new page, um, or a clean page rather, uh, at the end of my assignment. And I didn't have to worry about it ever again. So please make sure that you use uh, SiteFast to uh, cite your sources. Um, if you click on other, you'll see that there's all sorts of different resources that it will pick up information for. It's very easy to use, it's free, and it's very simple. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.